So, yo, what's good? It's your boy, The Truth Seeker. First off, I want to ask, how y'all doing? Well, hopefully y'all doing well. Summertime in LA, so it's hot, nice and sunny, but it don't even matter where you at. Just hoping y'all, um, hoping y'all doing well, getting y'all sunlight in. Hopefully y'all get your workouts in. Now, this video is a, is a response to one of my subscribers that asks, um, basically, how did I lose weight? But he wanted to know my diet. So, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my diet. For one, I am vegetarian, so I don't eat meat. And I've been vegetarian for about four to five years now. You don't have to be vegetarian to do this, but you want to know how to eat, how to eat um, healthy when you're homeless or a little bit of money. I'll tell you um, a couple things you can do, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do, so it's gonna tie into my um, my eating routine also. So usually when I wake up, I get into work about. It used to be two hours early. Now I get into work about, uh, I want to say, like 30, 40 minutes early. But um, the first thing I do when I wake up is I drink water. I don't eat for the first, I want to say, hour and a half. So I drink a lot of water. The reason why is it helps digest your um, the food that you had. The, the reason why is your body takes, I think they said about 24 hours to digest a meal. And it only can digest one meal, uh, um, well, one meal a day, I guess is what they're saying. So anyways, I drink water for the first hour, an hour and a half to flush out anything else that's in my system. So once I go, you so I, I drink the water, use the restroom, of course, to keep you hydrated too. You, you go use the restroom. Then I eat in the morning sometimes. Since I'm at work, they have vending machines. So I eat like some, some, uh, it's, it's some uh, corn nuts for like tahini, low calories, pretty good snack. They have fruit in there, so I eat some mangoes with the ham in there. So any kind of mangoes, um, watermelons, like any kind of fruit you can find, eat some of those. Me personally, in the morning, I'm eating usually fruit, or they have salads. So I, um, I take a, um, I mean, I eat a salad that's from the vending machine. They have a few different things. So mainly just water, and a uh, salad is, is my main diet. And then if I wanna, if you wanna like go out to eat or something. Or if you want to buy groceries or something, you know, because if you live in your car, you're homeless or you have limited amount of money, this is what I this is what I um this is what I do. I go out to um let's see, smart and final food for less or whatever you have in your area. Go there, you can go to the aisle, to the tuna aisle. So I do eat seafood still. They have packs of tuna, they like a uh, dollar a piece. You can get it. and they have multiple different flavors. I, I know they had like a dill pickle some other ones it's a lot of different it's a lot of those that's really cheap and it's the package you don't have to go season it drain it, anything you just come in a little package you get a bunch of those they had um chicken salad like that's in the package also you can get a bunch of those you can get a jar of pickles and a jar of um the green olives or whatever you want to put on it i would grab a bunch of those maybe spend like 10 bucks get a pack of the tunas it'll last you over a week depends on how much you're eating it you can also um, get some tortillas. Tortillas, pretty much low calories, find the lowest calories. I usually get the, um, there, it was some green ones. I can't remember exactly what they were called, but it was some kind of green tortillas, probably like 80 calories for one thing. And then the tuna low calories, about like 100 calories or less. And that's just for one meal. You could throw a pickle on there or whatever you want to put in there. Or you could have it with some crackers or something like that. Um. And if you're not vegetarian, but you still want something cheap, like I said, you can get the um, you can get the chicken salad. You can get the uh, bunch of top ramens. I mean, not top ramens, the um, cup of noodles. All you need is somewhere we got hot water. You can get hot water for, uh, from Starbucks. If you just ask, oh, can I get a cup of some hot water? I believe they can do it because they usually have hot teas and things like things like that. So you can go there, um, have that, so you can get a cup of noodles. That's not that many calories. It may be like three, four hundred. I can't remember. I don't really eat cup of noodles that much. But that's like some cheap alternatives that you can use to stay fit. Low calorie and it's pretty much a low budget. You could get peanut butter because that lasts a while. So if you're in your car, get a jar of peanut butter packed with protein. Now that one's a little higher calories, but have that and with some with some bread. The bread lasts a decent amount of time. I wouldn't say too long, maybe like five days or something or more. Depends on how hot it is or moisture. You can have peanut butter sandwiches or peanut butter and jelly and make sure you stay hydrated, of course. I um get these alkaline alkaline waters, they only a dollar. 
they have them at a Dollar Tree and 99 cent store. So if you have one, check. They usually have a bunch of these. You can go grab a bunch of these, a dollar. And this is alkaline water, uh, 50 ounces. And of course I say fit also because I exercise Monday through Friday. So I lost, I think I lost over 40 pounds for sure. And I'll show a little chart on other stuff I eat too. But another reason why I'm uh, why I stay fit also, in a way, in a way I was able to lose weight so fast was because I run seven miles Monday through Friday, and I had bought this um this Fitbit from Target, probably like seventy bucks. Right now they might be a hundred bucks because I had it on sale. But it tracks my calories, you know, your sugars, how much, whatever the stuff has, it, it checks everything, macros, checks everything, and checks how many calories you burn. And I usually wear the watch all day. So if I'm walking or if I'm at the park or, you know, wherever you at, wherever you go, that's, um, you know, it, it keeps a track of that. So, you know, how many calories you eat, and especially if you want to be fit, I think that's a good investment to have a, you know, Fitbit or something, something that could track your uh, calories. So, you know, exactly how much you are losing, of course, keep a scale in the car. That's what I usually do. And that's, that's a, that's a few items. If I, if I think of any more, I'll probably make another video and add it in there, but that's, that's my diet. That's personally what I do. I eat a lot of salads, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and that, and I'm a big snack person. So I will have some chips, hot Cheetos and things like that. But you could, if you exercising a decent amount, just at least 30 minutes a day, you could pretty much, as long as you're not eating like over 2000 calories a day, you could, you could pretty much be flexible with your food. You could have some junk food as long as you having some vegetables and some fruits. But yeah, that's, that's my, um, my take on it. And that's my diet. And oh, and another thing too. If you are, if you're not homeless, or if you don't live in your car, and you want to know some other things you can do too. Um, you can take a, a, oh, it's a Green Valley Detox Cleanse. I think it says it works for 24 hours, so you would take it on your day off. That's something else that keep you fit too. Long If you're doing cleanses, eating a bunch of fruits and waters and stuff in general is pretty much cleansing your body and detoxing your bodies. But if you do, if you had a, if you have a, you know, somewhere you could be for a while, Definitely, um, you could take the cleans that cleans your your whole body out. You'll be able to toilet for a while, but you will actually lose weight. You'll feel better. You will be healthier too. So that's another thing you can do. But anyway, that's my video for today. Oh, my bad. Anyway, that's my video for today. Uh, peace. All right. Well, couldn't figure out how to put the video, how to put this on the actual video. So, um, I'm just scrolling. Just showing how the uh, Fitbit app, apps work. See how much calories I eat a day. What kind of foods they have? Recipes. A little bit of everything on here. Um. Yeah. See, that's the recipes right there. How much weight you lose? You can look at that. You gotta input it yourself, but you can see it. Um. Show how many pounds you're at. See how often you work out. What workouts you do. Do a lot of running seven miles a day as you can see yep a lot of running Monday through Friday Monday through Friday I've um, been running for a few months now so that's how I keep up my with my uh, routine to stay in shape and um, it's pretty much the app they got you know you can see how long to sleep uh, check your mind mindfulness they got recipes, they got a little bit of everything on here, like I mentioned earlier. So, yeah, that's it.